hello guys welcome back to list craft youtube channel remember to give me a thumbs up subscribe and also share this video with your friends in this video i would like to teach you how to make a crochet gladiator sander with a zipper back these are the materials you'll be needing for your project you need the shoe last twine yarn or any other type of yarn your accessories hook scissors zip needle and thread and also your stitch marker so the first thing you need to do is to take the measurement for the sandal or project you'll be working on so this varies for different sizes of shoes, different sizes of sandals. So for this project, I'll be using 6 inches, which is the measurement for the back of the project I'll be working on. 6 inches. And also the front, 8 inches. And the back is divided into two panels with the zipper in between the two panels and also for my yarn I will be using three strands this is a size 9 twine yarn I'll be making use of three strands this is based on also is also based on the thickness of yarn you are using So this is one of the panels. So I'll be making the second one. So you start with a slip knot and then the foundation chain. I'll be dropping a link down in the description box on how to make the foundation chain. Two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 chains and then my turning chain because I'll be working with the single crochet. Then you start your work from the second chain from the hook and then you work your single crochet all through to the end of the row. So this is me at the end of the row, then my turning chain, then my row 2, also 20, I have 20 single crochet stitch for row 2. So this is me on the 5th row, so for your row 1 to 5, you have single crochet all through and you must have 20 single crochet for this project, for this size I am making yours might be different from this based on the measurements you are using so for my row six i'll be making a decrease at the beginning so this is my decrease so i'll be left with 19 single crochet stitch on row six I'm done with row 6 so for my row 7 there is no decrease here just make your single crochet stitch all through all together 19 single crochet stitch also so I'm almost done with my row 7 here which is 19 single crochet stitch all together then my chain one so on my row eight also i'll be having a decrease at the beginning so you just follow this pattern written on the screen for your row eight row 10 row 12 row 14 row 16 row 18 20 22 you have a decrease at the beginning make sure your decrease is at only one size at the beginning of those rows 
that's where you have your decrease so that you have one side to be slant and the other side to be straight so your row 22 at your row 22 I'll be having 11 single crochet on my row 22 here So this is the slant edge and this is the straight edge. So if you want to continue your work here, you can continue if you've not gotten to the desired measurement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm already on row 24 here. I have 12 layers, which is to be counted, multiplied by two those layers. Then I have my I'm already on row 24 here, which already gives me three and a half inches. Since I'll be needing four inches, so I'm just going to continue. But I'm already okay with the width at the top, so I'll just continue with my single crochet stitch without any decrease so this is based on the size you're working on yours might be lesser than this yours might be more than the number of rows i have just work with your measurements and you are good to go So this is what I have. So I have 30 rows all together here, which is 4 inches. I have 30 rows. So now I'll be working on the edge. Instead of going this way, I will be going backwards. Can you see the difference? I'll be going backwards it gives me a kind of edging when I go backwards just follow me and you'll see what it looks like so I will call it the backward single crochet stitch And this edging, it goes straight down through the slanted edge and not the straight edge. I will want you to note that it goes through the slanted edge. It gives it a smooth finishing. So I'm done here, I'll just cut this off. And then secure the hedge. So 
so this is what I have here Can you see the difference between the normal single crochet and the backward single crochet? So these are the two panels. So now I'll be adding my zipper to the two panels. So firstly, I would attach it to the first panel. You can use your sewing machine here or use your needle and thread to just sew all the way down. So I'll be using my sewing machine here. So this is what I have. So I'll be adding the second panel now. Make sure it is the straight edge you are joining to the zipper. Just so all the way down. And yeah, the back part is ready. It's as simple as this. So this is what I have here. So I'll be adding my strap now to the back. So like few distance away from the top, insert your hook and then attach your yarn to the back part. You can add your strap in any way you want, but this is the method I prefer mostly. So I'll just make four single crochet stitch towards the top part towards the top part i'll make four single crochet stitch sorry the project is not that focused on the camera So just work with your first single crochet stitch. This is also based on the width you want your strap to be. So I wouldn't want you to work with the measurements I have. I would like you to also work with your own measurements. So just make your single crochet. Yours might be six, but mine is four here. So this is what I have. Yours might be wider also. And you just make it to the measurement of the leg the measurement of the ankle so this is what I have then I attach it to the other hand So this is what I have. Then anything you want to use to adorn, to any accessory you want to add, you can add to your strap to just beautify it. Have your own design and all that. So my back, the back part is ready and we are good to go. So moving to the front part, we will be making something like this. Remember the measurements we will be working on is 8 inches. So know the measurements you will be working on. So you make your foundation chain. 
based on the measurements you've taken so mine is 50 chain for the 8 inches measurement so I have my 50 chains can you see then my turning chain chain 1 then I will walk with single crochet from the second chain from the hook all the way down from my row 1 to row 6 I have single crochet all through So this is row 2. If you are not familiar with a single crochet, I will be dropping a link in the description box down below on how to make the single crochet stitch. So this is row 1 to 6. I have three layers which is six rows so you can have your shoe last to check when to decrease or whether to continue so I can you can see here remember little part of the project to be going below the shoe so this is what I have then it means the covering now it needs a reduction here yeah. so just follow what your project is giving you on the last you are using so I'll just get the middle of my project so I'll be decreasing at each side so I'll be having three decrease here two three one two three all scattered i'll be having six decrease all through so three at one side three at the other side for my row seven so it is based on the project you're working on if you need a decrease at that end you make a decrease so just watch me the way i'll go with my decrease so this is my first decrease This is my second decrease make sure the decrease is not clustered together at a point try home means to scatter it about the row through the row rather so I have six decrease on this row with three at both halves or both sides so this is the third decrease so I'll be making the other three decrease now So this is the first one. This is the second one.
and this is the third decrease so I have six decrees in row seven all together so after my decrease on row seven I will have single crochet stitch all through row eight so from my row eight to ten I have single crochet all through so this is me placing it on the last again to check So I'm working on the upper part here. So one, two, three, four, five. That's ten rows. So I've already worked with single crochet all through. And if you notice, it's a bit opened at the top now, which which means which means I should decrease now. So for my row 11, I will have 6 decrees all through with 3 decrees at both sides again. So this is my first decrease. Second, I'll redo that. So, this is my second decrease. And this is my third decrease. Make sure it is not clustered together. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. So just work with single crochet all through again for your row 12. Can you see it's a bit closed now? Three, four, five, six. That's twelve row. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. That's fourteen rows. A single crochet hold through. So for my row fifteen now. I'll be having four decrease with two at both sides, and then my row 16 single crochet all through. Just follow the pattern and also try and work with your home pattern just for you to understand the technique behind this sandal so this is me at row 16 so I, you can see after placing you know whether you need a decrease or to just work with your single crochet all through one two three four five six seven eight i'm on my row 16 now which which i did a single crochet all through so i'll be working on row 17 now which is four decrees with two decrees at both sides. Then my row 18, five decrees all through, that is two at each side and one in the middle. And for my row 19, four decrees at both sides. I just try to make this video shorter, but please just try and follow the pattern written on the screen. Also for my row 20, I have four decrees with two decrees at both sides, row 21, I have five decrees in a row, that is two at both sides and one in the middle.
so this is row 21 so I'm left with row 22 now so I'll just close it up at my row 22 So you decrease, remove your stitch marker and then decrease all through. Just watch and see the way I will make the decrease. So this is what I have, then I will pull through the whole loops, then slip stitch, then you can fasten up your yarn, or make another single crochet if you like, or another slip stitch rather, so I'll just pull through. Yeah, so I'm almost done. This can actually be used for a smaller size. Just that it will have a lot of excesses at the bottom. It will have excesses at the bottom rather. So for the edge, I will make single crochet all through just for me to have a firm edge. So you make your single crochet first all through. So at the end, instead of going this way, no, we will be using the backward single crochet stitch again. So just turn your work, then your backward single crochet stitch. So you just do this to till you get to the end of the stitch to the end till the end of the row rather
yeah so this is what i have can you see the edge so this is what we've worked on so far so you have this then the back you have something like this So we have the back and the front remember to subscribe give me a thumbs up and also click on the notification bell and also share this video with your friends and also remember to drop a comment in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching i will be dropping a video on how to couple the shoes together in my next video thank you very much for watching See you in my next video. Bye.